Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Manhunt Checkpoint. I'm currently um, creeping in towards the Mirror Park Checkpoint, um, trying to go reasonably slowly and subtly, just in the hope that they won't they won't notice me. Um, is that one of them? No, it's not. Um, and we're playing. Um, yes, we're playing Manhunt Checkpoint. We're playing with the big green circle once again, and we're playing with it in uh, what we call elastic band mode, which is where the the circle is attached to the prey. With a sort of an invisible elastic band that drags it around and makes and makes sure they sort of stay somewhere in the circle, and that allows the hunters to find me and try and stop me. The circle has a certain amount of momentum, though, so if I drive fairly quickly and then abruptly change direction, it will sort of be flung off and hopefully bounce around a bit and make it a bit harder for them to tell where I am. So this is one of my least favourite checkpoints to take because the approach to it is rather awkward because Mirror Park is a bit off in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to try and just drive through here and try and get to it because they're going to have a fairly good idea where I'm approaching from. And that makes it tricky for me to get in there and take it. And I hear screaming. That makes me think the hunters are around here and being their normal lunatic selves and probably, probably shooting and stuff like that. Because I haven't done anything too suspicious yet. So they should, the AI shouldn't be being scared of me. So I'm going to carry on. I'm not going to take the main road through the middle of Mirror Park because that's sort of a bit too obvious. And I'm hoping that if I drive round this way instead it'll make me a bit less obvious to the hunters unless I drive like that. But they're not up here, so it's not too bad. If I trundle round here the hope is I'll be able to snag the checkpoint without them seeing me, and then head off to find the next one. Now, I've not seen any of them yet, which makes me wonder if they've just not had a chance to get here. Um, and if so, then it would be a bit mean of me to take the checkpoint, but I've not hurried particularly. I did start fairly close to the checkpoint, I have to admit, so I'm, I'll wait for another cycle of the lights to go through. Um, and have various other cars doing stupid things around me. This is annoying. Um, yeah, when the lights go green, I'll head off and I'll try and take the checkpoint. Oh, there's a purple car. There's a green car. All right, let's let's call this. Let's call that um, found and ready in time to go time. Um, because Peter's really is, is clearly going to know no to know this is me because well I've I've taken off like a player. I think it was probably the AI cars overtaking me on the junction that gave me away. Um, it's sort of an an annoyance that they do that because it sort of, they, they 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 treat player vehicles differently to the way they treat um, other AI vehicles, and that means there's there's a difference that the hunters can um, can use to to work out where I am. Um, so I'm just, yeah, try and get out of here. I've got, we've probably got fairly evenly matched cars. Um, we're both in coupes. And so there should be, they should have fairly similar specs. So the question is, which of us is going to be able to um, drive better, I suppose. Now I have a bit of an advantage because I'm the one in front, the one who's leading the chase. I can basically go anywhere I want and he, he has to react to the way, to where I go. Um, and that makes it a little bit harder for him. So that's why I, probably why I'm going to be able to get away without too many difficulties. Um, if we had more, if, if he had, which is why normally most of the time we find it's um, a little bit more interesting when the, um, the hunters have slightly better cars than the prey. But then on the flip side, if the, if the hunter's cars are too much better, then it's very, very difficult for the prey to get away. So we don't we, we try to avoid that as well. Okay, so the next checkpoint is up a casino bridge. That's one of the easier ones to get because there's quite a few different ways you can approach it. From. Although having the um, the circle is going to make it a little bit harder for me to find it, uh, for me to get sorry, for me, it's not it's not going to make it harder for me to find it. It's going to make it a little bit harder for me to approach it without them. Um, spotting me because they're going to know what direct potentially what direction I'm approaching from my hope here is that with that rapid drive up north I'm going to have been able to ping the um, the circle way off to the north past the uh, checkpoint and it's now going to sort of gradually find its way back down again I don't know if that's going to work we'll find out 
but I'm now approaching the checkpoint reasonably um, reasonably quickly so it's not going to be very long until I take it I have driven up here quite quickly so I'm not going to rush in because as, as I've said before I don't like charging in too quickly and just running between checkpoints because it feels a bit unfair on the hunters Tristan's trying something other than a Windsor that's interesting he's um, maybe he's got um, maybe he's trying to give me a bit more of a chance because the Windsor is very very fast at least if you can manage to make it go around corners which he seems to be able to do interestingly nobody else can make it go around corners properly but uh, apparently he can so I don't know if that was a realistic um, impression of an AI we'll find out whether he follows me or not he is following me oh Tristan is now it is now in a Windsor that's um, interesting I think that's probably I was going to say I think that's Paul. No, that colour with that colour it must be Mark. Um, so he's giving the with the old Windsor, Windsor a try today. Can I have a green light, please? I don't want to. Oh, I think he's not too suspicious of me. Excellent. Is he going away? Yes, he is. Right. In that case, I'm just going to take it and go. If I can press the right button, I can. Good. <sighs> I'm glad they weren't watching them when I was pressing the wrong buttons. I'm just sitting there like a lunatic. Right. <clears throat> Let's get away from here a little bit now. Because um, I think I've had the, this car has picked up a little bit of damage. It's got investigated a bit by the hunters, so I don't really want to keep it. Cars aren't lasting me very long today, but uh, one checkpoint per car isn't too bad. Was that a hunter? I think it was. Let's try a motorbike. I, I, I did this a little bit very briefly last time, um, but I didn't actually try and take any checkpoints in it because I felt a bit too suicidal um, and a bit. I didn't feel like it was going to be remotely safe. But I think it might be fun. So let's. Now what's probably going to happen here, knowing my luck, is that one of the hunters is going to come flying around a corner and just ram me off my off my bike because I'm in the way and they um, and they want to go and, and they don't care about running over a motorbike because it doesn't really slow them down very much. So I may end up getting killed sort of by mistake, which will be a little bit unfortunate and probably a little bit embarrassing. But I think it might be an interest. It's interesting enough to try a motorbike for a change, and I think I'm going to risk it. I wonder if that one in front is. Is that an identical bike or is it a better bike? Because this didn't feel like it had quite the burst of acceleration I expect from a, from a motorbike. Um, yeah, it's not accelerating all that quickly. Maybe I'll try... Next time we stop at a light, I'll nick the one in front of me. Because it's going in the right direction, so I think it's worth a worth a shot. We'll see if it's better, if it's a better one. Hey there, stranger. What up, right, there's nobody behind me. Yoink. What's this? This is a ruffian. That feels does feel a bit faster actually. Yeah, some better acceleration off this one. Okay, good. We'll keep this one. Green light. Whee! <laughs> yeah, I um will probably die horribly if I try and drive to this one like this too much. <clears throat> right, so a motorbike, this is going to either go very, very well or very, very badly. Um they haven't seen me drive a bike before. So it's going to be a surprise for them. So they're not. So I suspect if they see it, they won't suspect it being me. However, if they do suspect me, perhaps because I'm not wearing a helmet or because I just happen to go through the checkpoint at the right time or I'm in the right right place at the wrong time, then I'm going to be very very vulnerable. I might have a reasonable chance of escaping by just sort of. I was going to say putting my foot down by um by opening the throttle wide. But it's going to. Oh, here comes a purple Windsor. So Tristan's already got bored of his. Um, not a winter. He doesn't seem to be investigating me too hard. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm okay. I think he's investigating one of the cars up there. So he thought I was in this area, but he didn't expect me to be on a bike, so he's not investigating me. Excellent. This seems to be working reasonably well so far. So let's let's stick with it, see how it goes on the approach to the checkpoint, and then see how we go from there. Let's try and pull up in about the right place here. Right, he's not following me, so so far so good. The checkpoint's just over there. Somebody's shooting. There's panicking AIs. If I'd reacted quicker, maybe I should have panicked as well. Um, but yeah, it's only just over there, so it's not far to go. I just want a green... I don't know why I'm waiting for a green light when there's 
<clears throat> when there's no hunters around. Actually, the main reason I'm waiting for a green light when there's no hunters around is because half the time it feels like when I decide to run a red light because there are no hunters around, suddenly it turns out there are hunters around and I end up T-boning them. And if I T-bone somebody in the, on this, I'm, it's not going to go well for me. Uh, let's hey, man. look around. No, I think it's probably safe. Let, let's risk it. I can get up to this junction here. And then from here, where am I? Where am I supposed to go? Probably, probably off that way over the bridge. Okay, we'll do that. I think I'm. I'm watch. Okay, I'll watch these lights here because they're definitely mine. I think there's one straight ahead of me. Probably are too, but it's kind of hard to tell. And five ways is so called because there's five exits to the junction, and that makes the uh, the traffic lights a little bit complicated. What is that car doing? It looks like a bouncy low rider, except it's um, it's not. <laughs> Let's have a green light. I don't like. I don't like sitting here with um, Mark parked right there. It makes me paranoid. I mean, it doesn't take very much to make me paranoid. But this is that one of those things. That car in front of me is acting very suspiciously, though. So hopefully, that's going to get the attention of any hunters who are around here, like like Mark. And mm, actually, no, there aren't any others around <clears throat> at the moment. He's keeping an eye on that red car over there, though. So. Come on, how long? When do I get a green light? I, d I don't want to run the lights because, well, as I mentioned, there's. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm just going to open the throttle now because I don't think there are any hunters looking this way and I just want to get out of this area and try not to kill myself through a crash. That'd be a good idea as well, wouldn't it? So hopefully he didn't see me flee then. So I'm going to reckon on keeping this bike for a. Ooh for another checkpoint because it's it's interesting and different and I'm I'm a fan of that. Uh, I just need to know where the next one is. Come on. Has it been 30 seconds yet? Come on, tell me where the next checkpoint is. It's probably going to be all the way miles south and I'm going to have to go along. Oh, square, square. So that's not too bad. Right, let's head north a bit first. Hopefully I'll do a bit of circle dragging here and that's going to throw them off because then I can head down this road here. This does this one go straight to square of squares? No, I'm like a block or two off to the uh, the west for this one. But if I go down here, this is it heading in the right general direction. If I swing left here, I think, then I can go down that road. Does that? Okay, I'll need, and then that'll bring me onto the edge of square of. Oh no, I'll need to go over two blocks and then to then go. Okay, that's that's fine. Let's follow this uh, Cadillac type car. You'll take that back, bitch. Over here and then... Um, oh, I can't carry on straight. Oh, this is... <laughs> that one that's showing up on the map is the tunnel that goes underneath this bit. That's why there's. A, that's why it looks a bit odd. Okay, that's fine. I'll just go right and then left and then right. It's, uh, this, is, this, this is an American city. There's, there's the, um, the city is made on... Is, basic, is a grid, so it shouldn't be too difficult to, uh, to go diagonally. So down here, down this way. There's square of squares. So I just need to go left here, and then I can pick it up. That should be that's nice and easy. And a green light, perfect. There's a pink car there. Go here. Pause briefly. Then we can do a right turn on a red light because this is America, as previously as discussed in many past videos. There we go. There's an explosion. There's the pink car coming, turning again, and I shall just keep running this way. And once again, run away. <laughs> this is going really well so far. <laughs> um, this bike does seem to be doing quite well. I mean, I think it's. I'm not using it to go particularly quickly, and I have been. I've seen hunters a fair number of times, so I think it must. Maybe it's just they don't suspect me. Suspect it. It is, as I say, the, the first time I've really used a bike, so it's not surprising they wouldn't um, expect me to be expect it of me. And I've said a fair few times in the past that I don't like the idea of using a bike because I'm pretty sure I'd die horribly very very quickly. So I guess they've taken me at my word on that one. <laughs> 
let's see, North Vinewood is just up here. And that's the, that's the final checkpoint. This is going to be, if I make it, this is probably going to be my fastest win ever. Especially again, it's four hunters. What was that? Okay, no, I just heard, heard an engine, got paranoid. So it's okay. Hi. <laughs> Not too serious. That's shooting and there's those big red flashes that keep appearing on my mini map in the bottom corner. That's whenever a hunter shoots. That's to sort of show the how loud the gunshot was and what sort of area people can hear it over. Um, <clears throat> it gives them a bit of an idea. It gives it gives me a bit of an idea. And part of the point is it's when you when you're playing the game, you often you hear you'll hear a gunshot and you won't really be able to tell where it is because the, um, the the spatial audio is. Well, I don't know whether it's the spatial audio isn't very good or whether it's I'm not very good with the spatial audio. But either way, I can't usually tell where a gunshot has come from. So we've added that in as to give me a little bit of a clue as to where the hunters are and where, what particular area they're being suspicious of. Why is that green car going? I don't know, but I'm going to follow it anyway. I'm pretty sure it was a red light. But, okay. Oh, no, I do want this light. That was terrible driving. Fortunately, there's nobody around here. Interestingly, there's nobody around here, but also fortunately. I think I'm going to turn left here and actually go along this road, despite being in the wrong lane for that sort of shenanigans. Um, that's a green light. Because I think trying to approach the next checkpoint along the sort of the top road level is going to be uh, a bad idea. I don't know. I just, I've hardly seen the hunters this time. I, it was... I almost wondering if they've all just got bored and quit. <laughs> no, it's not quite. I do keep seeing shooting like that, so there's definitely some hunter stuff going on, hunter shenaniganry going on. I uh, right turn on red. La 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 la. Innocent, innocent. Dumpty dumpty dum. Right, just up this hill. Gentle bimble. Let's go straight on from here because then I can head off into the hills and, and away to go and get the um, escape. That pink car doesn't seem to react to me. Right, that should be a. I should say. Um, final chase, but it doesn't seem to have done. I'm pretty sure that would. Was that not the last checkpoint? Is there actually a sixth one? Well, I'll carry on up this way anyway, because it's a good way to escape from any, um, any hunter attention. Maybe there is... Ooh, a deer. <laughs> um, alright, well, we'll just carry on this way. Oh, okay, there's one more checkpoint to take. I... Did I miss count, or did that last one... Well, um... Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to keep going up here, and, um... Then loop back round and head down in back into the city. This is going to look really weird to the hunters. They're going to think something's gone wrong, and something kind of has because I was, I thought we'd finished, and that clearly is not the case. <laughs> so I started doing the final, the final chase thing and just trying to escape. Um, let's get me back down off here, and I'll get onto the highway, and we can head back into the city and feel slightly less stupid, maybe. Okay, here's some highway. Do I want to keep the bike for the last one? I think I probably do. It's done me well so far, and I think I've and I took the first two checkpoints um, in cars. Then it must have been the next two, or maybe the next three, if the counting has gone off. Because I'm, I'm sure that one last. I'm I'm not certain, but I thought that last checkpoint was number five, which is why I thought it was the last one, and I was going to be doing the the fleeing thing. Oh no. Okay, they've now seen that I'm on a bike, um, so I definitely need to change vehicles now because if they see me, if they catch me on this, I'm in so much trouble. However, I've got the speed and manoeuvrability to get away from there and hopefully then to find another reasonably good car to, to take the last bit in. Um, could use a police car. Could use one. The, could use a buccaneer actually. A buccaneer is nice. Generic muscle car. I use them from time to time, um, and yeah, they're okay. 
they accelerate a little bit. They don't handle too badly. What's that in front of me? That's actually a better car. Is, is that a... I'm not sure. Probably, if I nick it, I'll probably find it's a Premier or something like that. One of the ones that looks like a good car, but it secretly isn't. Let's try it anyway. Especially as I put a ding in this one. No. Get it. Oh, wait. What is... Yeah, this is a Premier. No, it's a Prairie. Okay. It began with a P anyway. That's close enough. Right? <laughs> Either way, it's it's not a particularly good car. If I see a Coupe, I might switch. Um, but it's reasonably nondescript. Now, Chinese Monument is a relatively tricky one to take without being spotted, I find. Tristan usually seems to be very good at spotting me when I try and take Chinese Monument for some reason. But I've got a bit of time to get over there. Are we still panicking? No, we're not. Um, I've got a bit of time to get over there, so maybe I can... Um, I don't know. We'll... We shall see when we get there. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a tricky one to take because of the sort of the, the roads around it are a little bit funny. But I think there's a sort of a 90 degree bit I can in fact, I can use that. If I go in on one of them and come out on the other, then maybe they won't see me. If they do spot me, then I'm going to have a very long chase ahead of me to try and to try and get away from it for the final uh, the final hurt the final pursuit because I'm not in a particularly good car now. So if they spot me, it's going to be tricky to get away. However, a nice long chase is always um, always makes for a good episode, I think. So I'm going to, I'm not going to be too too worried if they do spot me, um, as long as they don't kill me. <laughs> There's green. So it's not too far to the uh, checkpoint. It's sort of, it's on the other side of that bridge, then a bit a bit further. Um, oops, there's some brake lights, let's not do that. Uh, reversing lights even, let's not do that. The hunt there don't seem to be any hunters around now, which is nice. And I'm not sure why not, I'm not sure where they all are, because this is the big road from where I was um, last seen by them to the, to the monument. So... Ooh. That's a much better car. Let's take that one in front of me. Let's take the red one, actually, for a bit of um, panache and stuff. Pizzazz and... <clears throat> yeah, Felon GT. That will do very nicely. Thank you. Oh, wait, that's... That um, checkpoint isn't... Oh, maybe I'm just not approaching it from quite from where I thought I was. I'll switch to behind this one so I don't get the cars trying to push past me thing. Um, yeah, I'm just not approaching it from quite from where I thought I was. Oop. There's a Pete Mobile. He's suspicious of that car that's putting its roof up, which is nice. I'll go with that. I'm happy for him to get suspicious of somebody that isn't me. I'm just going to sit here in uh, at these red traffic lights and hope for the best. Hope that he isn't actually suspicious about me and is just abusing the car in front of me for um, distractionary purposes. And he's pushing it back towards me to give, reduce the amount of space I've got to... That wasn't a very good impression of an aggressive AI, so I think it might be time to not be here. Especially as there's now a second hunter. Thank you, that was the way I was trying to go. <laughs> right, okay, so we've got that chase I was talking about earlier. Um, fortunately, I'm not in that prairie any longer, so it's, I'm, I'm got, I've got a bit more of a chance of getting away. I can put a bit more speed down. I can do things like duck into the car park. Now from here, do I go straight on on the other side and go onto the, the, the highway down there? Or do I go this way? I think I go this way this time, because I usually do the other one. Dodge the Tristan. He's gone into the wall. Excellent. Dodge. Oh no, I've gone into another random car. Uh, it was going so well until I hit that. Right, okay. So we've got... Um, Pete is still right behind me. Uh, he's still on my, tra on my uh, tail. So I think... I don't, as, I, as I've said a number of times before, I don't like to take a checkpoint when I'm in a chase because it feels like a rather cheap. Oh, I keep forgetting that I've got that sticky out bit in that uh, in the tunnel down there. <sighs> Those walls have caught me many times before. It's quite frustrating. 
Um, because they, yeah, you try and sneak down there, and if you don't quite judge it right, and you're going a bit too quick, you manage, you don't then, and, you, and your bonnet scra or your scrapes along the wall, then it smacks straight into the uh, sticky outy bits, and you, and, and that stops you dead, essentially. Right, so there's two of them behind me. Time for some, um, time for some tricks and tactics, I suspect. I don't know how many tricks and tactics I've got, but I'll try and find some. Let's go in here. Now, they're probably going to expect me to turn left and go through there. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go down here. Now, what I want to do, I kind of want to flip back around again and go and take the um, the jump through the shopping centre. But I'm not sure if I can realistically do that from... Well, I, I, can, I can do it by going around in a loop like this, actually. This could work. Um, and I've actually got a fast enough car now to take advantage of the um, shopping centre jump confusion. Oh, sure. Alright, you keep going that way then. Oh, there's a Pete. He, I think he dodged me, which is nice of him. Um, I do. Oh, and Mark as well. They're all in this area, but I seem to be driving in and out, weaving in and out of them uh, quite nicely. I haven't seen Paul yet, actually, at this particular um, juncture. Um, oh, there's Pete behind me again. Right, okay. Let's go down here. And I'm hoping that if I go in here and up this one, Nope, they followed me. Okay. Let's go off here slowly and hope that they go off at a bit more with a bit more speed than I did. Or at least with, oh, with a bit less. Oh no, no, it hasn't it hasn't worked at all. They're still all behind me. And we picked up Mark again. Okay, let's stop let's stop messing around with the sort of the jumps and things and trying to be clever and that Because that's um <laughs> clearly isn't working. Let's just try going to a different part of the city. That's that's always a fun tactic. Um, just putting my foot down, getting out of here, driving fast because I've got I've got a fast car. They've got similarly fast cars though, so it's um I can't I'm not going to be able to outrun them in a straight line. However, if there's anyone else who isn't quite in the chase, then going at high speed is is likely to give them trouble sticking with the chase, should we say, or, or trouble finding the chase? Because if I can go if I if I go fast. Then by the t they'll, they'll be trying to they're, they're sort of essentially trying to follow along the same route that I'm going, and so if if I wiggle in and out of roads, then they can sort of gradually find their way closer to wherever I'm wherever I am, as because they can they can take shortcuts or if they can not do a random loop or something like that that I've I've, I've stuck in. Oh, I think I've lost them a little bit. There they are. Yeah, they're quite a way back now. So that means I now need to um, do a couple of turns fairly quickly to try and take advantage of being a bit in front of them and also not mess up. Not messing up is very, very high on the uh, list of importance things. I need to turn my lights off as well, like that. Oh, I, I messed up a little bit there. Because I, um, let's try this one. Oh, tree. Oh no, it didn't quite hit the tree. Alleyway. Did that do it? Oh no! <laughs> oh, it didn't. It didn't actually. Pete was still behind me, but finding Mark there as I popped, just as I came out of there was um, quite unfortunate. I'm quite glad I picked the red car now, actually, rather than the white one, because it's a bit darker, and so hopefully that means it'll. Ooh, that looks like a uh, an unfortunate crash there. Let's take the unexpected route. Well, I say unexpected. They've, they've seen me go this way often enough that it's probably not that unexpected. But if I can just drop down onto here and. They go in a completely different direction. That might well throw them off. But yes, there they all go down there onto the onto the highway. They didn't expect me to turn around like that. Excellent. <laughs> right now I need to find. Well, I mean the ch the chase is over. I have lost them. Um, but I think I should probably try and find another car, and I guess take the checkpoint in the sort of the relatively slow and sedate way, rather than trying to run through it. Now, I do have a broken window, which isn't ideal. I also am driving a Seminole, which is also not ideal. And the alarm's going off. So that's, again, <laughs> not ideal. The alarm should stop going off fairly soon, though. And then it'll just be a not particularly great car. Um, <clears throat> that's now just going to... I'm just going to sit in traffic for a bit. And, again, in this sort of... It, it's my, my, my sense of fairness, I guess, again, I guess. It's, I'm trying to um, give them a chance to regroup, realise they've lost me, and head back over to the checkpoint to try and sort of to guard it again a bit more. 
So we'll um, head down over there at a reasonably sensible speed. There goes Mark. It's only one of them, but that's okay. If one of them has found their way to the checkpoint, then I don't feel too guilty about getting there because obviously it's uh, not breaking properly. <laughs> it's a 4x4. Four four. It doesn't break very well. There goes Paul. <laughs> He's changing cars in front of me. That's um, amusing. Come on, Paul, go away. Right, so um, this final hunt is going to be an interesting one because I'm sat here motionless and they're all hooning around trying to work out where I am uh, they're assuming I've run off now the question is if I sit here for long enough will they drive far enough away that I'll just win the final hunt without moving <laughs> that would be that would be amazing if they did um, I'm going to go the other way from where I, where I saw them all go so I'm going to head down here Oop, there's Mark I kind of now nah, they've gone he's gone I'll go this way instead. Because uh, I do want to get away from them. Because the, the point of the final hunt is that the um, the idea is it's to make sure that the prey can't just take the last checkpoint flat out, try and blast through it at, at speed, and um, and sort of and, and just not give the hunters a chance to stop them. So the idea is if I was if I if they had spotted me when I took that one and we were in a chase, then um, I wouldn't then I wouldn't be the, the game wouldn't end until I got away from the chase. Or if I... Oh, well, there we go. We've blown them all up as well. So, I've won. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, it's been another good episode. I seem to have I seem to have got better at the game. Either that or we've made the uh, the game mode hard enough for the hunters that they're now um, struggling to uh, struggling to defeat me. So, I'm happy with that. <laughs> um, Thank you for watching and enjoy the hunt of you. Kind of looks like he's going round the <coughs> non-main road side of the lake. Yeah. Yes, it is. Just here. This silver car just going through the checkpoint now. Suspicious of that. I uh, think I've got him. South. Checkpoint. Yeah, gone. yeah, I've got yeah. him. He's heading south. Silver convertible. Yeah. Uh, white male, dark hair, that's all I've got so far. Can you just tell people he turns right at the petrol station? Sorry, I was trying to look at his character model. Uh, we are continuing to head west. Over the bridge. Uh, right at the fork. Uh, heading into ghetto. Uh, taking a right at the petrol station. Heading to square squares. Uh, left, found square squares. Uh, continuing west, he's getting away from me. I've got severe lag. I think he took a right, but I can't tell. Potentially through red car park. No, it wasn't through a car park before then. <coughs> That's annoying. I lost him in a leg spike. Okay. Where would a Lawrence be hiding? I don't have the same thing. I might have to swap back to the Windsor. <laughs> this <laughs> car has no driver. Oh, there is. No, no, the Sentinel's quite fun. Handling so much worse, for me at least. 
and that's what makes it fun. <laughs> you wanted to drive a car that's got good handling. I don't know what's going on, but all of these cars have no drivers. I'm Is assuming the lag's, lag's global. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this could be something to do with the lag. Character model was a white male, right? Oh, uh, correct. Dark short hair. He's not messing around, is he? That car is booking it. If it goes west now, I'm on it. But you, you can't drive driving to yes, the shop. Yes, he's on uh, low car parks. No, just no, never mind. Oh, that's weird. Because of the speed of the map movement, the circle should be pretty accurate. So, no, the whole point is it's not. The whole point is it's, he's within the circle, but it's not telling us that he's, we can't just look at the centre. Yeah, it's quite quite specifically inaccurate. Yeah. Ah, I see, like an offset. Okay. No, yes, it, it randomly oscillates an offset. Okay. I have a theory. S repairing is a great idea. He's taking it. Someone chasing him or something? Cause he's really going. Um, no. Does the AI uh, put the roof on? Say that again. Does the AI on a convertible uh, put the roof on by themselves? Uh, yeah, yes. they do sometimes. Okay. You think that this white one here? Uh, uh, no, there is a black convertible. They specifically do it when it starts raining, but they might do it at the time of day as well, because it is basically sunset. Yeah, and it's a black guy. Oh my god, my car is very poorly. A red convertible heading straight for the checkpoint, a bit suspicious. Heading up past Red Car Park now. North or south side of it? Uh, heading around to um, the east. Heading east, north of, of Red Car Park. Going through Red Car Park. Yeah, that's him. It's gotta be. AI won't do this. Uh, to checkpoint again. Yeah.
Turn right. We'll bring off. Heading towards the art gallery. Left of the art gallery. Due west from art gallery. And then uh, north into the tunnel. So north then east. I think all of us are actually on his tail. <laughs> it is still helpful though. Yeah. <laughs> In case you accidentally fall back somehow. Or for me to learn the call out. That's it. Oh, yes. this. So east past red car park. And <laughs> uh, then north past Arcadius. Uh, west side of the shopping centre. Going through shopping centre. Heading east. Ah! Uh, sorry. It's alright. Due east out of that. Passing construction site. Uh, north, uh, block after the construction site, I think it is. And then immediately west, tax junction. And immediately south. So we're going to be. Heading, Big loop. Uh, heading west, back towards shopping centre. Turning round, heading back east. And north again. And west. Uh, a road up from shopping centre, heading west towards shopping centre. Approaching the north side of shopping centre now. Heading south past the east side of shopping centre. Uh, going through shopping centre uh, on the jump. Slowing down to take the jump slowly. And then ducking back through shopping centre. Rampton in the tunnel. Heading east away from shopping centre. construction site, turn south uh, on the east side of Arcadius. I lost too much speed on that corner. Square squares. <laughs> Later. Oh, these Windsors are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I know, they're great fun boats. Uh, west past Simeons. Head towards Red Car Park. Yep. Straight across. Bah! Dark gallery. Uh, east of Dark Gallery. Straight past Red Car Park. Uh, north past Arcadius. He set it down. Past Hospital. Heading west. Oh, yes, I see. Five ways. So, right of five ways and an immediate right again. An immediate right again down that alleyway. Uh, I believe he's taking yeah, a right, so, so we're heading south from five ways. I'm going to go forward to the checkpoint and actually sit there like a roadblock. Well, well I'm not going to camp there, but I'm going to hang around that area. Because I'm assuming he's going to lead you all there. So, uh, left, no. heading east. He, he won't take the checkpoint in a run. Turned off the lights. And turned south, I think. Yeah. He had to jump to the highway. No eyes, I'll head straight. Anyone say? Uh, we left the circle. Oh, bugger. So we out. Saying that, if he's going at speed, that's not impossible. It doesn't mean the circle would elasticate back to him pretty quickly. I believe. Uh, so he'll basically end up dragging <coughs> the circle. 
So it is very it's difficult for him to actually leave the circle. He has been a really fast car. Right. I'm going to appreciate that chase. Yeah. He may want a moment to catch his breath. <laughs> Hot so, so he can't actually take it while he's being chased? He can, but he won't. He, he d doesn't ah. because... He yeah, has a bit of a gentleman's rule. Uh, my idea was to actually go and be up near the flag because I assumed eventually he was going to chase you into that flag. <laughs> no. He... He doesn't like taking checkpoints in a run, in a race. Oh yeah, okay. Because that's all. Defeats the point. Did anyone get a, get a look at his character model? Um, not really. I believe he's in a blue shirt and tie. He's taken it. He's taken it. You're here, Paul. Where did he go? I just, I was just feel, fixing my car. <laughs> he is booking his way. Right. 